Welcome, people of YouTube. Two year, one month of free from dreadlock hair growth. <sighs> well, we're getting a lot of length now. Super, super long and super strong. Getting a lot denser, a lot tighter. Um, just a solid, proper solid now. Real thick and dense. You can squeeze them a little bit, but more or less solid when I go in the shower now it proper soaks in some water it takes some it takes some drying it takes some drying but um, we'll just take a little while we're in the headband so you can see these ones at the side as I say these are all free form locks if you're new to the channel uh, jump back and jump back to my first red report or at least skip back to a few and you'll see see where it's come from what's been happening um, Got some beads hanging out there. Right, let's take it out of the headband. Here we go. Natties, natty dreads. Still got a few bits of hair coming through that are forming gradually or feeding into dreads and stuff. I've had to do a bit of, bit of detangling now and again. Just a few dreads at once separating and um, you know, don't want to be joining together big clumps that but big clumps that are just joining and stuff that I really don't want not in and making some big big things so you can you see that just for you dreadheads out there are wondering how do you keep up to separating can you see that there pulling them apart gradually it does hurt you Roots a little bit. See that bit of a knot there? We'll just take that out. Bit of dread maintenance there. That's as far as my maintenance goes. Uh, obviously, washing, but that literally is as far as I don't use no croquettes or whatever they're called, the little needles. Just beads and, and, and just simple uh, separating. I've kind of tried to just let it do what it wants. You know, we've got is looking like that hello but as you can see the length now they're super super long really are long getting down to like down the back it's definitely like shoulder height now so it went through a stage of um tightening and shrinking they all start to shrink so it got like almost quite long and then shrunk back again and now it's getting longer again i don't know if it'll tighten up again as they mature I've got the blonde tips still coming through, especially now the sun's coming out this time of year. It's uh, bleaching the ends of them uh, with the sunlight. But I, I, when I were a kid, I, I was really, really blonde, so I don't know if that's a connection there. But obviously I'm brown on top near my scalp. Um, but the ends are blonde. That one's a bit of a junction of a bit of a knot. But yeah, the proper solid, proper solid amounts of hair. As you can see the length is going crazy. Super, super long. Tie up a little bit so you can see what it's like. There's one whole big U in it. So yeah, there's the, there's the length of it all the way up here. I know how much you guys love the old dread reports and the details of the finding outs and the ongoings. Got a dread bead there, that was one of the originals, one of the starting ones, it's locked on pretty tight now, it's still got a bit of breathing space. There's another one at the back there, I think that was one of the originals. No, I have got two in this back bit here. Uh, one there, and where's its mate? Just finding them. Duk -duk -dum, duk -duk -dum. One there. Pretty right around the corner there. As you can see, I'll try and do a bit of a back shot. So you can see what's going on. Yeah. I've got some massive big big boys here. Big boys! There's the other dread bead. But yeah, it's a it's a big mass. And we're just keeping keeping growing, keeping on maturing as life goes on. 
I always like to take a few seconds or yeah, a few 10, 15, 20 seconds to say a good thanks to everybody following the channel, keeping up to my videos weekly. I try and keep up to weekly posts. I try and post stuff as I learn about it, as I discovered it. And if you follow the channel, you will know this. You will learn at the same time as I'm learning. So it's all good. And I hope you're enjoying the videos. I hope you're enjoying the content. I have got a little BMX video in the making, but that's building up. I'm working on an edit. So that'll be interesting for you guys to watch you shredders out there who like watching my shred videos and um, always personal development always personal growth and um, with the odd humorous video in there i might try and get some clips of hector now he's getting a bit more active he's uh, been in a bit of a broom 80 stage so he's been he's been sleeping a lot hiding under his bamboo and stuff like that he's just been hiding away as you can see now but the dreads even though Obviously these are non-manufactured, these are just free form dreads. But as you can see the roots are pretty, pretty strong. Let me, let me go a bit deeper here. Okay. okay. As you can see the roots are pretty strong. They're pretty solid. I like that one separating a little bit. That one's separating from that one. Oh, that's solid that. There we go. There we go. So they don't join together, so they're separate. But yeah, the roots. Okay. Roots are pretty strong. You know, it's uh, the most naturalist way. It's pretty tight, that, as you can see. You know? As a natural dread. Hey, up, oh, going further. As a natural dread, as a natural form, they form stronger roots. You know, I sometimes see videos about people who's had the dreads made or keep going for dread care and dread maintenance and I've uh, seen that people get a lot of tension on the scalp or they experience a bit of pain after they've been to the hairdressers or what have you. So if you're thinking about dreads, if you're considering dreads, do consider free form. It's the most natural way, organic way, least maintenance most cost effective you don't have to buy anything you don't have to pay for anything because they're just doing their own thing it's the biggest journey you don't go with long hair straight into a hairdresser's come out with dreads there is a transformation stage and that is does affect you it does affect you because you are walking around with like sideshow bob and if you don't know who sideshow bob is google simpsons you're walking around with sideshow bob hair and it is a bit difficult you do get looks, you do get people wondering what the hell is going on and what's happening. But it's that's part of the journey, that's what, in my opinion, what dread should be about. It should be about the journey and very much uh, the connection side of it. Like, yes, it is a hairstyle, but it's not about the style. It's not about the look. It's about the message. It's about, you know, standing out in a sense of not giving into society's demands of how you should look because this is the most natural form of of hair you know apart from well shaving it is is doing it yourself you know that this is untouched unkept don't do much with it just just raw raw hair what is actually your hair does without brushing it without you know well, we've got some more separating at the back i'll try and show you guys so I hope, I hope you can see that. Bit more separating going on. But as you can see, we've got some big, big flat ones at the back there. Obviously that's where I go to sleep and go to bed, so they do form a bit flat, but it's part and parcel of it. This one's stuck out to me recently as well as, you know, you guys who watch the Dread Reports, I always form few connections to your dreads. Every dread is like a little person. It's got its own little character and its own little thing. But yeah, it's like a it's like a dragon's tail or something like that, I don't know. It's like really short but then widens out. A few of the other ones. Let's check the check the claw out. The claw. But as I say, if you are thinking about dreads, consider free form. Consider why, why you're wanting dreads, what are you wanting them for? Are you wanting for the aesthetics? Are you wanting for the look? Or are you wanting, you know, the journey, the spiritual journey behind hair and the real deeper message behind hair? Do your research, find out what 
connection hair has, what relevance it has. You know, there's a lot of stuff behind dreads and they're strongly associated with like Indian sadhus and Rastafarianism. Read about it, read why they actually grow them like that. It isn't just for a look and for aesthetics. It's, it's a lot deeper and it goes a lot deeper than what's on the surface. So yeah, grow free form if you're gonna go for the journey. If you just want looks and you just want dreads, go get your dreads manufactured. But just know you'll have missed out on a, on a key point of what dreads are actually about. So my favorite f way is free form because I just think it's just natural. You know, your hair's made it like that. Nobody can say anything to you, you know, oh, why do you wear your hair like that and stuff like that. It's done it itself. It's not my fault. It's just happened itself. The only thing I don't do is brush it because who can be bothered brushing? You might as well have free form dreads and have this hanging off your head. So, and get some length. But as you guys watch my channel, see it grow, see it expand. We've got bigger videos coming up. We've got more ideas, more realizations, more content good quality stuff. I'm trying to make my videos more interacting, a lot more personal, a lot more direct, talking to the viewer, not just broad statements going off on tangents. I'm trying to keep it structured and very bite-sized chunks and very digestible for people who are interested, who relate, who connect, who understand, who, you know, can grasp some things from the videos. So, yeah, man, stay tuned. Keep spreading peace, keep spreading love, keep showing gratitude to each and every day, and I'll see you in next week's video. Take it easy, man. Woohoohoo!